I recorded an entire episode and except the number was pink instead of red in the corner and it turns out it didn't record. So let's try this again. Yuski broskies, I'm out in the middle of the uh uh, <laughs> I can't think of it. I'm far away from spawn and I have been mining and I got some pretty good diamond ore and lapis and gold and I'm trying to get treasure for the uh, treasure hunt. Um, you may remember that I've already done one. Um, well, I'm possibly doing it again. Uh, this time for the new people on the server. Uh, the, uh, but uh, several of the veterans also seem to uh, be expressing an interest in doing it again. So what I'll probably do is have the uh, Oops! Ow! Uh, I'm not very good at climbing up waterfalls. That's why I don't go chasing them. I stick to the rivers and the lakes that I'm used to. Um, but I'm probably going to have it so that the new people get a head start and the uh, folks who have done it before, like Sparks and Crazy Man, can uh, wait for a while and then go. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. I, uh... Nyeh. Yay, more gold. Meanwhile, I have a lot of treasure hunting of my own to do so that I can stockpile. And I, instead of hoppers, I'm probably going to use chests. That way there will be enough for everybody. Yep, I'm right under the ocean. Uh -huh. Yep, no, no bat grenades on this server. Yeah, I've been playing a lot on uh, Sparks' Game Mode 4 server, so I got used to a lot of the Game 4 modules, especially like the uh, exploding bats. Uh, so now it's taking me a bit to get used to playing between the two different servers. Whee! I'm going to head back down to diamond level so I can keep on keeping on and try and keep getting those precious gems. I accidentally have a regular old diamond pickaxe with me instead of uh, uh, An enchanted one. Oh well. Let's get a little more redstone just in case someone needs it for some projects. Uh, the uh, server has been pretty quiet lately. Lots of the time because I guess people haven't been able to think of new projects to do, but there's plenty we can do. We just need to figure it out. Just need to think of it. So, uh, that's why I'm doing this project. So I can hopefully get everyone together and get everyone, get the wheels turning basically. Because we need to keep this server alive. Because there's still so much more that we can do. We just got to think of it, that's all. 
uh, uh, meanwhile, uh, my brother has been playing a whole bunch of a game called uh, System Shock 2. It's an old, old game. It's very aged, uh, especially the character models. But it's so good. It's a survival horror game uh, set in outer space in the future. Uh, it's... Uh, it's got a lot of complex systems to it. You can repair and modify weapons. You can uh, uh, do all kinds of leveling up and fixing up your rig with different abilities. Uh, you can... It, it's really cool. Uh, resources are pretty scarce, so you feel like, you know, you're actually in a horror game. So you're not just going around shooting zombies and stuff. You gotta really pay attention to your resources and melee and put yourself at risk to conserve ammunition and things like that. It's really cool. That is one game that I wish that they would reboot. You know, it could really use a facelift. And I think it would stand up really well to uh, modern games in terms of gameplay. As long as they keep it the exact same and don't change anything other than, you know, whoa, fixing bugs and stuff. Whoops, I pressed the wrong button. Well, that's why... Uh... There we go. Let's check out this cave. Hey, gold. Good, good gold. I know we have a gold farm, but it's risky to go up anyway. And plus, it it's kind of cumbersome to get to, and all kinds of stuff. So, I'm happier to be mining and trying to find the gold myself, instead of, you know, doing it that way. I know a lot of people might not see gold as very valuable, but they might. So I'm getting it just in case and I'm be gonna be including it in the treasure. I'm mostly trying to hope for diamonds and emeralds, but uh, uh but 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 <laughs> excuse me. That hiccup. Wee zombies. <laughs> what? Got your pants. Got your pants. <laughs> Ooh yeah. That's a good sword. Let's see about these pants. Fire protection too, and they're in pretty good shape. Uh, might go ahead and pick those up. cave across that way too. I'll stick to mostly the lower paths so I can Woo! Oh my gosh! Ping pong! Gosh, I could die. Better 
get my wards up. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Ah. Ah. Ooh, my heart is pounding. Oh my jeeshi yeeshi. Oh my gosh. Shoo. That was close. I could have got knocked in there again. Oh. Oh my gosh. Phew. Uh. Well, that was exciting. Phew. Anyway, as I was saying before, uh, I don't know, I'm still shaken up from that. Oh man. That was so close. Anyway, I uh, just recently got back from the store from, with my mom because I'm vi visiting her for the week. And uh, we went to Hot Topic and uh, for uh, a past uh, late Christmas gift, she got me uh, this dress with skulls and flowers on it. It's cool. It's both edgy and elegant. Uh, I really, really like it. Uh, we're going to have to probably, we're going to take it to another Hot Topic and see if they have a large, because I got an extra large, and uh, see if they have that. If so, we'll see if it fits, and if it doesn't fit, then we'll have to do a little bit of tailoring on this one to get it to fit a little better. But it's really, really good. It, the cut works well for my figure. And I'm really, really happy with it. So, can't wait to uh, show that one off. We also uh, just got back from Jungle Gyms International Market. It is this, oh gosh, this place, it has this corny statues and stuff up front, bunch of animals and bananas and stuff, and, and it has this recorded voice that goes, Hi, boys and girls! Welcome to Jungle Gyms! <laughs> and it's so, like, annoying and, and corny, but uh, it really, really, the stuff that they have there is absolutely amazing. I mean, Basically, you can ask, do they have? And the answer is yes. <laughs> There's just so much stuff there. It's like you really are on a jungle safari when you're there because you're exploring the whole store and discovering just what they have. They have so many things from other countries. They have tons of gluten-free and organic and veg vegetarian and all kinds of stuff. And, uh, it, whoop, how did I not pick these up? Uh, there we go. Whoops, and I accidentally, ah, uh, oh well. But, uh, I mean, they have ostrich eggs, they have frickin' Ribena from Britain. They have uh, just so much stuff. It's amazing. I love going there. Every time I go there, I kind of like, I'm like, I want to pick up one or two things. And I end up getting so many things. Like, just, 
oh, I got to try this, and all oh, this looks so good, and and there's just too many things. You got to try more things. I love it. Let's see, I heard a zombie. Let's check through here, but also start digging down again. If I miss the zombie, then oh well, that's okay. Ah, oh, yay! I'm glad that the enchantments have made, uh, have made Lapis into a valuable commodity again. That's cool. It's like, it, it's like instead of adding a new ore, giving an existing ore purpose uh, is a good way to do that. To expand the experience. Anyway, I was, oh yeah, I was talking about System Shock 2 earlier, how it could really use a reboot. Some of the reasons that someone suggested um, that it doesn't have a reboot is because uh, it's very similar to uh, Bioshock. And, well, more like Bioshock is very similar to it. Uh, it borrowed a lot from it, name included. And uh, has a lot of elements that are just renamed parts that are basically the same as as the old game. And so that might be why they aren't doing a remake of the System Shock series. Which is too bad because in and of itself it's such a good game. Um, I guess I'll be back when I find a cave or when I get done and have the spoils. I just found a play, uh, like three treasure chests right by each other. Uh, saddle, always good. things. Yeah, kind of lousy treasure. <laughs> but it was cool to find that many chests all by each other. So, yay. Anyway, the search continues. Thank goodness for Depth Strider. Oh yeah. Nothing here. I like to go th to the end of halls so I can mark the ends with a torch just to tell myself that I've already checked it and that there's nothing. Like no uh, alternate paths or whatever. I only put the torch at the end if there is no alternate path or if the alternate path has nothing. Let's see, I already went that way. Wee. <laughs> That's random. Oh, hello. Let me help you out of there. Let me help myself out of there. <laughs> A 
big old arena. More gold. Very, very nice. Hello. More treasure. Well, you guys wait there and I'll help myself. Hmm, piece of gold. Nice, nice. Alrighty. I'll uh, just keep on searching these uh, wrecks and ruins. It's unusual to have some this low. But hey, might be able to find diamonds. Now this is a vast lake of lava. Look at that sucker. And we've got some diamonds over there. Oh yeah. Let's make our way. Bit by bit. Good old buckets. Looks like that's the only one. Oh well, it's still a diamond. Possibly more, depending on how well my uh, enchanted pick works. Oh, already full again. We'll fix this. Quite a place. Alrighty, my treasure hunt is over. So now everyone else's treasure hunt can begin. Poor Sparks. He lost all his gear and then he got it back and then he lost it again. So here I am at the mailboxes. Uh, several of us got together and decided to give him Helm of Purple Soldier, Kick Me, Feather Fluffy Boots, and my contribution, Jolly Pantaloons. To help tide him over, give him, you know, hashtag dress sparks. And actually, uh, I come back and I'm also going to give him this poking stick. There we go. Now he can poke. Poke, poke, poke. <laughs>